I remember last year when I won the camel race, behind the gate, G.R. Carter was egging me on, talking trash, wanting to ride one of the camels. Of course, I won that race, and he's been jealous ever since. Yeah, I know we were both born in the same town, Big Pahuska, Oklahoma, but I know probably hospital technology and all wasn't near as good way back when you was born, about 20 years before I was. And I'm pretty sure, you know, you got some kind of, some kind of physical disformity or something that'll keep you from being a perfect camel jock. You know, since last year's race, I've really gotten into the culture and history of camels. I've watched Lawrence of Arabia at least a dozen times, and you know, I've kind of learned to think like a camel, which is very important. You know, I think there might have been some funny stuff that last time and all. It looked like you sure might have been on way the best camel, but it sure looked like a little bit of a fishy deal there, Scott. You know, G.R. Carter's talking like just because he's won $50 million riding quarter horses that, uh, that that makes him the favorite in the camel race. Come on, I've won just as much money as he has riding camels, and I'm undefeated. He loses like 60% of the time. I'm undefeated. Read the memo, GR, your history. I am undefeated at camel racing. I can't wait to try GR Carter, Jennifer Schmidt, and Luis Villafranco in the extreme races on Sunday afternoon, April 10th, here at Remington Park.